If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here, aka JEDIBRO95, coming at you guys with another video. So, today we have information, information, information about Gridiron Guardians 2, basically all the cars that are going to be coming out tomorrow, including the Masters, the special items that they're going to be we're doing, and also they get special boosts and stuff of that nature, yada yada yada, you get the picture, let's move on. Uh, so first off, we have the, for the 91s, uh, these are going to be the lowest um, overall, so 91 Demario Davis, uh, 89 block shed, 90 power, hit power, whatever it's tomorrow david's the linebacker then we have christian barmore 90 block shed not bad run stopper dt always good uh brandon sheriff you know solid offensive lineman really doesn't provide much of anything too in elite, too much in elite level austin eckler is a 91 overall this is crazy to me i think he should have been a 94 or even a 97 you know he i don't think he has gotten an upgrade all year uh austin eckler definitely did get hoed a little bit but he does have 97 speed on a charger steam team so it could be useful uh, but yeah, he just doesn't, he's just not very good, uh, overall. Landon Dickerson for the Eagles, 95 strength, 91 run blocking and pass block, uh, run block power. Uh, Kevin Zeitler, uh, 89 strength, 90 forward uh, pass block, 95 pass block power. Not bad for a budget lineman, good pass blocking stats. Justin Reed, 94 speed, 95 excel, doesn't have anything else too significant. Uh, Gerald Everett for my Seahawks, 90 speed, nothing really spectacular after that, uh, but you know, Gerald Everett's not the greatest. Uh, then we have Daniel Jones. So now we're getting into the 94s. Daniel Jones, 91 speed, 97 throw power. Uh, honestly, not terrible. I actually do think this Daniel Jones is a good budget quarterback. He'll get Gunslinger and High Route Master for two eight, for the cheapest you can get for for them. Uh, I think it's like 5 AP for uh, quarter. I think it's 5, 6 AP. I think 6 AP for Gunslinger and 2 AP for High Round Master. So that's 8 AP. Not bad. And also he's got some mobility. So Daniel Jones could be solid. Uh, solid. Then we have Brian Burns, 90 block shed, 94 power move, 90, uh, 94 speed. I mean, 96 power, uh, finesse move. I mean, uh, then we have Miles Gaskin. I don't know why this is out of place. Uh, but Miles Gaskin, 94 speed, 95 Excel. Uh, not that bad. Makai Becton. Again, this is just also out of place. Uh, but Makai Becton, 93 strength, uh, solid blocking stats all the way around. Now we're back to the 94s. First off, we have Michael Brockers, 97 strength, 94, 5 block shed. Pretty good, actually. Plus, this guy is a run stopper. So, obviously, you guys know I love run stopper DTs this year because of the inside stuff for 1 AP is crucial, crucial, crucial. Speaking of AP, guys, they did not talk about the AP update this week, but they have confirmed that they will touch on it early next week. So, I'm expecting to hear something about the AP update on Tuesday. Uh, so it is what it is with that. I was hoping we hear something this week, guys, but I guess not so much. Uh, but then next one, Micah Hyde, 95 speed, 97 zone coverage. So 99 speed on a Bill Steam team. Pretty good. DJ Moore next, 96 speed, 95, 94, and 91 for the route running. Also pretty great. Deontay Johnson, 95 speed, 95, 92, and 92 for the route running. Uh, Deontay Johnson looks actually really, really good. Uh, again, a lot of these, these 94s are actually not the worst. Now the 97s, the first one we'll get into is Roquan Smith for the Chicago Bears. 95 speed, 99 hit power, 95 block shed, 92 zone coverage. Um, yeah, this card overall, all the way around is pretty good. Obviously, I wish you didn't have to throw on Lurker to use it, but it is what it is. But Roquan Smith is pretty good. Then we have running back Derrick Henry, 97 speed, 98 trucking and break tackle. Uh, hopefully this Derrick Henry... We'll put an end to the quarterback, Derrick Henry, although I just don't think it will, to be completely honest, but it is what it is. Uh, but this Derrick Henry looks phenomenal. Obviously, 99 speed on a Titans theme team, so there's that. Uh, then we have 94, Ryan Jensen. Again, I don't know why this is out of place, uh, but Ryan Jensen, uh, 95 strength, 95 awareness, uh, 92, 91, 92 for the pass block, and then 97 run block finesse powered up, which is nice. Uh, then we have Preston Smith for the Packers, uh, 92 speed, 97 block shed, 96, uh, 93 uh, power move, pardon me. Uh, then we have Joe Namath, 93 speed, 98 throw power, 95, 97, 93 for the accuracies. Notice how it says release for his best attribute. Now, I wonder if that means they're going to give him the Aaron Rodgers throwing animation this year. I don't necessarily know, and quite honestly, I don't freaking care to be completely honest. So, it is what it is with that. 
Uh, but Joe Namath looks pretty good. He's it's by the time he comes to the game. Then we got Max Crosby overdue for an upgrade. Finally gets it. 99 block shed powered up. 98 finesse move. 95 speed. You know, Max Crosby is really, 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 really good. Uh, so for the sets, here are the sets here, guys. So for the 97 overalls, you have to exchange 494s. And yeah, 494 Gridiron Guardians 2 to get the overall, the 97 plus his power up and a super suit strategy card uh, that is specifically tailored to this player. So for example, uh, with, with Joe Namath, uh, when it comes to that strategy item that you'll get, you'll actually be able to get a plus one to all stats on your quarterbacks and offensive linemen. So that seems like a good deal. I don't necessarily know what it is for the rest of these guys. I wonder if it's like a uh, pass rush, like power and finesse move on Max Crosby for your for your outside linebackers and uh, well, no, not for outside, yeah, plus one for outside linebackers and uh, defensive ends. Maybe Rokon Smith is uh, plus one to all linebackers, and then maybe Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, we know for certain what it is. Um, also here is the basic super suit for all, just the gridiron guardians, uh, just gives plus one to all ratings for the people that are affected by the gridiron guardians promo. Uh, but for Dion, uh, I'll actually hang on. I'll showcase that real quick. So 27 challenges. So you earn the super star strategy. Uh, you earn the super suit strategy item, which will give plus, uh, give plus one ratings to all the gridiron guardians, two players. There's 135 total stars. Uh, so you can earn a 94 end cat gridiron guardians to uh hero fantasy pack uh there's also going to be some objectives you get 30k coins 35,000 xp with 17 different objectives and you get to earn your choice of 194 overall gridiron guardians 2 player i believe this is going to be auctionable i'm almost certain it will be so that is going to be sweet uh but for Dion sanders here is the boosted champion uh so Dion powered up 98 speed 98 acceleration 99 agility 99 man 98 zone this card is phenomenal, but this little boost thing right here, they actually did confirm what this is. This is going to give all your cornerbacks plus one man and plus one to zone coverage. So this is only going to be for the for Deion Sanders specifically. Um, but if you want the other strategy items like the Joe Nate, like the quarterback and offensive line one, or the running back one, or the um, you know linebackers or whatever other ones are going to be, obviously you're going to have to do those sets. I don't necessarily know if I want to do those sets because it does cost a little bit. Maybe we can get with those strategy items in game. I don't necessarily know for certain. But what I do know is I actually am looking forward to Gridiron Guardians 2. It is pretty good so far. Uh, also, they did showcase them finally giving Cam Chancellor his next upgrades. So there is going to be five specific objectives you have to do to get your final challenges, to get your final upgrades with Cam. So the first thing you got to do the first, the things you got to do are number one, get 100 takeaways with Cam, get 200 sacks with Cam, which is dumb. Uh, why are we have to? Why do we have to get 200 sacks? Like, just, just, this is stupid. This is really stupid. Uh, win 250 games with a 92, with a greater than 92 overall team with Cam Chancellor in your lineup. Um, 120 so career solo battle or head to head season win game with and this one doesn't have to include cam you don't have to get cam in the lineup uh and then the last one is win 150 games with less than a 90 overall and this one you don't have to have cam in your lineup so you can have these you can get these two done without cam in your lineup and then the rest of them you have to finish the cam uh with cam in your lineup uh joe namath uh, again i'm just looking at using somebody else's i'm using somebody's screenshot now here is the final upgraded cam chancellor he will go up to a gold 99 so 97 speed 99 excel 98 tackling 98 play rec and pursuit 91 man 98 zone and 99 hit power a couple of things that they did mention on the stream today when it comes to this cam chancellor one is they are dropping his reinforcement elite which is an x factor specifically tailored to cam chancellor basically what it is is just a reinforcement x factor which will allow you to it's basically like run stopper it's just the, the run stopper x factor and the zone hawk x factor kind of mixed in the one gives you a better block shed and uh a higher chance to disrupt blocks a higher chance to shed blocks and disrupt catches um but they're dropping that one because for reinforcement elite if you start with it at the beginning of the game they're dropping it from 3 ap to 1 ap and they're also introducing a new x factor for him called avalanche elite which is going to cost 2 ap so basically you get avalanche at the start of the game and for those of you that do not know avalanche is an x factor where if you immediate if you hit stick somebody they fumble immediately every single time you hit stick somebody with camp 
So that's terrifying. But, you know, all you have to do is get 30 yards. So you basically get like a few yards downfield and then you basically just dist- like you're basically having to get five hit sticks with Cam, right? So, um, but Cam Chancellor looks really, really good. I'm happy that they're finally giving him his upgrades overall. Also today, there was an EA Play Supercharge pack. The pack went out to basically everybody. I got it at about 9 o'clock this morning. Um, uh, they, they put this card, these cards out. Keenan Al- Everyone got a Keenan Allen, Ronnie Harrison, Vita Vea, Kyle Pitts, Reggie Bush, and I believe there was one more. Oh, yeah, AJ Hawk and Ryan Tannehill. There were t- so all those cards work. It did come out in the EA Play Supercharge pack today. Now, apparently... People are trying. People are saying that they were supposed to be NCAT, uh, which is hilarious because this crashed the market uh, when the when it first dropped. It crashed the market beyond belief. Uh, like people were buying Rodney Harrison's for twenty two, like twenty thousand coins, and, and his regular price is about twenty eight, twenty nine thousand, right? Uh, Ryan Tannehill was about like eleven k at one point. Like the market absolutely tanked as soon as these hit. Uh, I personally used these for exchanges for the team builders i was able to save up a lot of coins to uh let's say i was able to save a lot of coins because of these uh because with the new team builders guys you got to exchange 192 289 to 90s and 287 or to 88 so yeah that definitely did save me a lot of coins uh today with these so i was able to get all the team builders i really cared for that i wanted to use uh, but that is going to be do it for the day, guys. That's going to wrap up everything that went on today. There was a lot. Uh, I actually wanted to make this video this morning, but unfortunately, uh, the twi- my Twitter was not allowing me to load up people's tweets when I clicked on their profile. So obviously, I couldn't do anything about that. So I had to post. So I had to put the video off until now. Uh, so I do apologize, guys. But if you guys did like this video, guys, Please hit the like button for me and also hit subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate those who do watch and hit the like button and are, you know, turn on notifications as well. I appreciate all of you who do that. You guys make me feel very happy to keep going with these content, with these content videos. Uh, and also make, make it just worth my while to, you know, get up some days and do this shit. Because some days I just really, uh, I, I think to myself, do I even want to make a video someday? So uh, I do appreciate it, guys. So um seahawks theme team lineup update let me talk about that real quick um it is scheduled to be tomorrow however if the ultimate legends are confirmed to what i believe are true and that we are getting earl thomas i will postpone it until sunday or monday just so that way i can get earl thomas put him in the lineup and then have a video with him in the lineup right because i you know if there's something immediately coming out that i can get my hands on for the team i want to do that right so if Earl Thomas is coming out on Saturday, I will po- postpone the video till tomorrow or postpone the video till Sunday or Monday. But if there is no Earl Thomas and number 29 happens to be Eric Dickerson or fucking Eric Berry, then I will put the video out on Friday. So that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.